Good morning, everybody, and welcome to another episode of The Dong Report, where I give out my favorite MLB home run picks for the day. And if I seem like I am extremely giddy this morning, well, it's because we finally had an undefeated Dong day yesterday. I gave out three picks on this YouTube channel. We got all three of those plays to cash. We end the day up over nine units on the plays individually. And then we also turned $10 into $600 because we parlayed all three of them together. Absolutely, absolutely incredible day yesterday. Finally, we get a 3-0 day. We get one of these dong parlays to cash. That brings our total profit on the dong report up to over 50 units at 51.75 units in profit with an ROI of 11.86% absolutely incredible so happy that we are able to get one of these to cash so happy all the people that reached out to me on social media with a screenshot of their slips showing me that they cashed it as well if this is your first time watching a video watching the dong report i appreciate you being here and i would also appreciate it if you could click that subscribe button get notified whenever a new video drops so we can start cashing all together for this video as i mentioned i got three home run picks for you guys and let's get into it so play number one in the Angels versus Blue Jays game, we're taking Shohei Otani to hit a home run plus 270 odds at Bet MGM. We went with Otani yesterday. He cashed. We went with Otani two days ago. He technically didn't cash for us, but he did cash because they had a double header. So we chose the wrong game. Instead of home run in two straight days, I see no reason why we should not keep backing Otani. In the formula for Shohei Otani, it's pretty simple. Number one, he's the best batter in baseball. So that is already a given. But in situations where he's even better are day games and games against right-handed pitchers. Well, guess what? Today, it's a day game for the Angels, and he's going against a right-handed pitcher in Alec Manoa for the Blue Jays. And then also, if you look up specifically the hitter-batter matchup between Otani and Manoa, it's an extreme advantage for Shohei Otani. This is according to Ballpark Pal. Now, I am, admit, I'm a little bit nervous of them literally just the Blue Jays just not pitching to him at all. <laughs> Someone on the uh, Blue Jays was caught saying, like, why are we pitching to him? He's the only one on, on our team who can hit. He just added a couple F-bombs in there. So that is always a risk, but that is unfortunately a risk that we'll have to take. I don't need to tell you guys how good Otani is. We all know that his power numbers are insane. But for this game specifically, what you need to know are the three things that I mentioned. It's a day game against a right-handed pitcher. And specifically this right-handed pitcher, he has the extreme top advantage against. So all in all, a great day to back Otani. Also, if you want to sprinkle him to hit two, I wouldn't hate that as well. We are just going to take him to take one and he will probably cash it for us. Next up in the Reds versus Dodgers game, we are taking Max Muncy to hit a home run that is at plus 300 odds at FanDuel. Now, there are some times when I'm doing these dong reports and I kind of have some hard sells on some guys to hit home runs. That's not the case today. Otani is an easy sell, as is Max Muncy. That guy just absolutely mashes. And we're happy with him because the last time he was on the dong report, he hit a home run for us. He had a stretch earlier uh, this month where he hit a home run in four of five games, but that was the last time he did hit a home run, which was on 724. So he's gone dongless since July 24th very confident that'll change today this is another example where ballpark pal gives the extreme advantage to muncie so if you're sensing a theme here i am starting to look a little bit more specifically into the actual matchups themselves between the hitter and the batter that's what i did yesterday now i'm not saying every single day it's going to produce the same success as yesterday but definitely can't hurt to look at and the pitcher for the reds weaver muncie as i mentioned has the extreme advantage against and unsurprisingly muncie also has awesome power numbers Overall, his ISO rate is 27.8%. It's even better against right-handed pitching all the way up to 29.7%. And that's on the season as a whole. Doesn't include this recent hot streak in July that he's on. He also has a season-long barrel rate of 18.5%, which is the fourth best in the entire MLB. Now, if you're unfamiliar, ISO rate stands for isolated power. It's the stat used to measure how much power a batter gets. And then barrel rate uh, is measures how often the batter literally barrels up the ball, how well they hit the barrel of the bat. For ISO rate, 25% and above is considered excellent. For barrel rate, 15% uh, and above is considered excellent. And he's excellent in both categories and even better against right-handed pitching. So 
very confident in Muncie. And our last pick of the day in the Rangers versus Padres game, we're taking Manny Machado to hit a home run. That is at plus 400 odds at FanDuel. So our last pick of the day, another awesome play that really is not a tough sell at all. And I'm just going to go ahead and get this out of the way. It's extreme matchup advantage for Machado and the Rangers pitcher, Martin Perez. Like literally, if you look up the matchup on Ballpark Pal, it's the top 1% of possible matchups for Manny Machado, and it's the bottom 1% for Martin Perez. So really good play that we have here. And Machado also, similar to the other two batters, he's been on fire recently. He's He's got three home runs in his last 10 games, but he has 11 home runs overall in July. And that number, 11 home runs in July, that's tops of the entire MLB, more than Shohei Otani, who has nine in July. Unsurprisingly, Machado has awesome, awesome power numbers. Since June 1st, an ISO rate of 27.4%. That's considered excellent. Since July 1st, a ridiculous 42.2% ISO rate. That's absolutely insane. Sure, he's been a little cold in the past 10 games. I mean, three home runs in 10 games are still good. It's not quite the way he was at the beginning of the month, but I am confident that he will get one for us tonight. He should continue to mash. And that's all I got. Three plays, three players that are absolutely, absolutely going to hit a home run. If you're tailing, remember to comment and let me know. Also, I do put a small amount on the parlay of all three of them, like yesterday, on days that we can get them to cash. It's incredible. So hopefully we can have that happen again today. And that's all I got. So appreciate everybody for watching and have a good one.